In this video, we're going to find the amplitude of sinusoidal functions. And amplitude isn't a word we've used in this class yet. So let's define it. These sinusoidal functions have peaks and valleys. That is to say, they have maximum values and they have minimum values. And the amplitude is essentially a measure of how far the maximum values are from the minimum values. I say essentially, because in terms of max and min values, amplitudes defined a little weirdly. You might think if you want to measure how far the maximum and the minimum values are from each other, you just subtract the minimum from the maximum. Now, amplitude is almost that, but not quite. Amplitude is half of the distance between the maximum and the minimum. So looking at this picture here, the amplitude is this distance, or alternatively, the amplitude is this distance. A slightly odd way of defining it but when we have sinusoidal functions, the amplitude is easy to find. In fact, the amplitude is basically just sitting there. The amplitude is controlled by that A in front of the trig function. And the amplitude is the absolute value of A. So, if we go to Desmos and look at a sinusoidal function, two times the sine of x, well, the minimum value is two, negative two, sorry. The maximum value is positive two. The distance between them is four. Half of that distance is two, and that two is the amplitude. Um, looking at the picture here, where I said this line segment gives the amplitude, I've drawn it in to this graph. You see it starts at zero and goes up to two. And indeed, two is the amplitude. And just as with the period, where the period was entirely controlled by B, the amplitude is entirely controlled by A. If I mess around with this function. If I add a, um, a B and a C and a D, well, the functions changed, but 
Its maximum value is 3. Its minimum value is negative 1. The distance between them is 4. Half of 4 is 2. So the number in front of the trig function and only the number in front of the trig function controls the amplitude. If I made that negative, well, now we're going from negative one to positive three. The distance is still four. Half of four is two. So the amplitude is still two. Which is why Sorry about that, screen froze up a bit, which is why this amplitude has these absolute values around the A. Whether it was positive two or negative two, the amplitude was two. And I mean, just to quickly verify, let's change this to, if we change this to, to something else, it ought to change the amplitude. Let's go from two to three. So now the minimum is negative two. The positive is positive four. The distance between them is six. So the amplitude should be half of six. The amplitude should be three, just as we see over there.